no chocolate tonight, I'm sorry. You, you, you ate all the chocolate last night, yesterday. Congratulations, Noah. Uh, n tremendous season and uh, win at the uh, finals in the end. Can I just take you back to last year when you got to number one? You didn't have to win that Wimbledon final against Nadal, but you had to prove to yourself and to the world that you are the number one. And then tonight, it was a similar scenario. How satisfying is all this for you? Well, it's, it's uh, tremendous, you know, success, and it's very satisfying for my team and myself uh, to, you know, um, conclude this fantastic season with a World Tour Finals win. I never got to the finals of, uh, of this tournament in London. The furthest I got is semifinals uh, a couple of years ago where I lost straight sets to Roger. So I wasn't really um, feeling this surface very well, you know, in the past couple of years and uh, always coming in very tired and not managing to play my game. But uh, this year has been different. I got motivated and got, uh, got a little bit more physically fresh and uh, you know, I wanted really to fight and I really wanted to uh, to get as far as I can in this tournament and winning all the matches that I played, you know, makes it even more special. Novak uh, at the, the back here. Uh, after about eight minutes, you were three love down. Roger was playing great tennis. What yeah. was going through your mind to, to turn it around? Well, just trying to hang in there, you know. Uh, it's not the first time that Roger starts against me so well. Uh, I've experienced before. Uh, you know his aggressivity and 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 uh, you know really trying to put his mark on the on the match. So it's what he's done again. And um, you know I didn't know in which direction the match will really go, but I try to uh, try to convince myself that uh, that I will make a turnaround and I will fight. And it happened again. You know I managed to to deliver my best game when when it was needed the most. Novak, among the more than 80 games you played this year. Uh, where would you rate the level of this one? I was, it was, uh, I was playing uh, really great tennis throughout the whole week. Uh, the first match, um, you know, still, still feeling, feeling a little bit rusty on the court. But then, you know, I, I, start, I won against Andy. That was, that was a big confidence booster for me. And then, you know, every match after that, I, I, I felt like I played. Uh, Really, very, very close to the top, top of my game, and uh, and tonight, you know, when whenever I needed to to come up with some some really good shots and 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 really focus myself and 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 you know get every ball back in the court, I've done that. So I cannot uh, cannot be more thrilled than than I'm feeling now. Novak, can you um, can you describe the feeling of finishing the most incredible year with the most incredible shot? <laughs> yeah, it's it's. Um, Best way to finish the match, I guess, with the, with a passing shot, one of my favorite shots. Um, I, I, uh, I wasn't intending to get him on the net. You know, I tried to uh, try to stay in the rally and and, and get uh, get more uh, aggressive in that rally. But you know, he came he came in, and uh, that was the only space left for me to make a passing shot, and I I made it. When you talk about points like that last one, or you know, there was one in the game before where you hit, I think, two lines in the same <coughs> long rally, are those things that just don't happen in tournaments where you're physically a little bit jaded or your motivation isn't as high? Do, do those rallies just not quite happen? The balls don't land on the lines? Is that the difference? Well, it's hard to say, you know, and, and, and really predict if. if that's going to happen or not, you know, depending on a match, of course, depending on opponent, depending on how you feel. I and mean, obviously, every uh, for every opponent, I'm trying to individually uh, prepare my tactics. And, and uh, I mean, for Roger tonight, considering the fact that it was a final, I needed to, to play really well, you know, and consistently well throughout the whole match because uh, he's a two-time defending champion. He, he won against Andy. Played a fantastic match last night, so I, I, I knew that he's going to come in and, and really have have nothing to lose, you know, playing playing his his game. So, you know, I, I try to um, try to stay focused and, and and be patient in the rallies in a way, you know, and and wait for my chance. And Novak, did you ever question yourself whether you could back to back number ones? And having done it, 
Can you give us some idea of, of the sense of achievement now? Is it sinking in that you've you've backed it up? Well, it's it's been a it's been a very long year, a very long two years, but very successful two years, and uh, um, I really didn't know how I will follow up after incredible 2011. Uh, but I I believed that. Um, that I have to use the time where where I'm playing the best tennis of my life and I'm, um, you know, winning Grand Slams and uh, finally realize what I need to do to, to win the major tournament. So this was my time, my moment, and I needed to, to step in and, and really believe in my abilities. So throughout the whole season, I've had lots of success and uh, had some disappointing losses at the big events and a couple of major finals. but. You know, all in all, it was it was a fantastic year. You know, where uh, where I've um, you know uh, had to face a lot of difficulties off the court as well, and um, you know, especially coming into this tournament and um, you know having my father fighting his own fight, you know, for health and uh, gave me an extra strength. Uh, you know that uh, I wanted to play for him in a way, and uh, that's one of the reasons I. I really gave it all every match, especially tonight, and this was a you know title for him. Mm -hmm.